guest of honor is here the president and the first lady president yori kaguta museveni and his wife unveiled the artistic impression of the bible college during a fundraising dinner hosted at the Covenant Church Nations in Iruzira. Over 300 Ugandan million shillings was raised in cash and pledges to support the church's mission programs, including the Edward and Irina Kataha Bible College, which will be located in Maya, Wakiso District, 18 kilometers on Kampala Masaka Road. President Yorim Seveni greatly commended the work done by Pastor Patience and her husband, Audrey Groawogo, in adding value to the church ministry by teaching the transformational gospel. Because how can you say that you are the people of God but you are poor, you, you, are, you, you are diseased, you are in, you are in uh, need, and this is what we have been preaching against. And this is where we disagreed actually with, with the Barocco in the 1960s. I disagreed with them. President Museveni thanked patients for starting the theological college and urged them to follow the four dimensions of Jesus Christ of healing, feeding, working, and preaching. I'm very happy that after 145 years, I have somebody from my group who has now not only joined the church, but actually it seems adding value to, to the church. I want to thank patients for starting this theological college. I think that, I hope that theological college will now handle the four dimensions of, 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 of Christianity. Uh -huh. The faith, the working, the healing, and the, the feeding, the feeding. On her part, the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, Mrs. Janet Kataham Seven, thanked God for his faithfulness, especially those that honor him with their lives. Today is truly a humbling day for me, as I realize in a special way that God is a faithful friend who does not forget those who honored him with their lives. He says in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30, that those who honor him, he will honor. Our Father honors us even when we are long gone. She thanked patients for allowing her to be used by God and lifting up the names of God's servants who are long gone, adding that while we may forget them, he does not because they live with him. So therefore, the naming of, this, of the Bible college after them is very significant in demonstrating how faith is passed on to live on in generations to come. This is a challenge to the modern day parents to remember that our first mission field is a family that God has given to us. For God, family is sacred and most important building block of all that he has created and family is responsible for God's most cherished of all attributes, love. She said her parents, Edward and Irina Kataha, were faithful servants. Pastor Patience Ruawogo explained that Edward and Irina Kataha Bible College is named after her maternal grandparents who fulfilled their purpose in their generation and left a legacy of faith and transformation that is still impacting the world. When the Lord instructed us to name the Bible College, 
After our grandparents in faith, Edward and Elena Kataha, it was a sign that God's heart is for revival and for a new spiritual awakening in our generation. I pray that you will all join us as we unstop the spiritual wells and work to see a new revival and a new reformation. She said that the Bible College aims at raising up leaders and ministers in the church that are trained and equipped to do Lodi's work in the community and in the marketplaces. The fundraising dinner was attended by government ministers, church leaders, elders, and members of the Covenant Nations Church. I'm Dennis Blair Kalanzi in Kampala. God bless you all.